everybody, and welcome to Anarchy, the podcast about anime with two brothers. I'm Ben. And I'm a Kern Black Hole. Was it a Kern Black Hole? I don't remember. It's not worth worrying about. Really? That's what you're opening with? You're not going to open I've with... I've played a lot. Biggest... What? Dickus? Oh, I was going to open with Biggest Dickus. Oh. Missed opportunities. Ah, I did miss my opportunity. I've been playing a lot of Steins Gate, mm. but I should have remembered Biggest... Dickus. He is my good friend. He is. Uh, he's my real good friend. I probably don't have to ask you, but, um... Yeah. What have you been doing since last we spoke? Oh, boy, I've played a lot of Steins Gate. <laughs> have you now? It turns out the Switch is, the, like, the best system ever for VNs. That's not entirely surprising. And it makes me very upset that Steins Gate Zero is not on the Switch. Hold your horses. It probably will be at some point. Oh, 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 it's on the Switch in Japan. Well, then eventually. But the company that brought it over here did not disdain to put it on the Switch. Not yet. Uh, they won't. So how are you finding the original Steins Gate game? You know, I like it a lot better than the show. The show I found rather unsufferable. Now, I have Steins Gate Elite, which is basically fully animated. Which I kind of miss because it means the character designs are simpler and the VN's character designs are just better than the animes. Yeah. Just that. So that is what it is. But I really liked it. It's really good. So who is your waifu? Has it changed since uh, the anime? I don't think I had a waifu in the anime. You didn't? Everybody has a waifu from the anime. Oh, do they? What's yours? What's mine? Uh, The main chick, obviously. Kirisu? Yes. She's the yeah, best. Yeah, she's pretty good. Although I some mean, yeah, people like super wacky. like uh, the really, really, really annoying one. Mayuri? Or do you mean Fieris Nyan Nyan? No, she's fine. It's Midori who's just my 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 Mayuri. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not big. I'm not. I'm not high on her. Uh, Ferris Nyan Nyan, um, strangely enough, has the only other good ending. That's kind of funny because she's there a side is character, isn't she? Yeah, the true ending is a good ending, as in a good end. Mm-hmm. It's not like Fate, where all the good, e- yeah, all the true ends are the worst. Kind of garbagey. Yeah, no, the good end is the true end. Like, that. that's a fine end. It's a little melancholy. But the only other end that's, like, good is Ferris Nyan-Nyan's, of all people. That's hilarious. All the other endings, every people are dead. <laughs> but not Ferris Nyan-Nyan's. <laughs> Ferris Nyan-Nyan's, everybody's fine. Everyone lives. Well, it's because she has the power of Yans, I would assume. I guess so. Well, it's more because he travels to, like, a crazy world line. So he's, he, like, right, so the game starts at, you know, um, world line 0.58, something or another, and he's trying to get to world line 1. Mm-hmm. And the Ferris Nyan Nyan ending, he winds up at blank point two five. So it's just a completely different world line. <laughs> nice. Um, it's way wacky. Um, so he doesn't know any of his friends from the original timeline. So it's a little depressing in that way. But at least he has Nyan Nyan. And everyone's alive. Well. And at least he has Nyan Nyan. Would you say. Yes. Having played the game. Mm-hmm. That the plot is bananas. Oh. No, oh. no, because I've because uh, I've played um, I've played uh, Kingdom Hearts and that <laughs> that is bananas. What I like about Steins Gate is that it's mysterious mm-hmm. and um, and twisty, but it's not confusing like some other things that I have seen or watched. Like I'm I'm plowing through zero and zero's real good. Is it? Yeah. I mean, not the anime. I'm, I'm reading it. Well, no, I, I still need to watch that, though. I, I'll watch it once I'm done. I kind of like reading it before I watch it because, like, I watched Steins Gate years ago. Um, so I kind of knew where it was going. I kind of forgot the details, but I knew where it was going. Where this one, I have no idea what's going on. My problem with the original anime was the whole middle part with Maiduri, whose name I, which name I can't pronounce today. It did need to happen. Not to spoil anything for anyone, but... There are many episodes in the middle of that show where people are trying to do things to help her. Yeah. And maybe the show would be better if they just 
Didn't. <laughs> Did, didn't. <laughs> I, I mean... I was like, you know what? Yeah. I think it's okay as is. You guys can just Aww. keep on doing your things. You don't need to well, help except, out I mean, there. There's, there's, there's the whole backup reason of why this is bad. Yeah, but you don't I find mean, out about certain... that until later. So I at mean, the time, I was like, true. could you just... Not. I mean that might not that might not be true in the anime, but in the in the via, and they're pretty upfront. It's like, well, the side benefit of solving this problem is the whole CERN problem. So yeah, that hadn't been properly established by that point in the. Anime. Oh, it's very established in this one. <laughs> I I don't doubt that. Uh, but I'm really enjoying Zero. I'm almost halfway done, and it's man, it goes places. Speaking of bananas. Boy, howdy. Do you know where it branches off from? Off from what? What? Are you aware of where, uh, what timeline, uh, zero is? No. All right. So let's throw up a spoiler warning for. Quick spoiler for a, warning. For an anime that's eight years old. So, um, I'll give you eight more years to listen to it. Okay. So in the true ending, right? He goes back in time, accidentally kills Kirisu, uh, goes back forward turns out that was all part of a plan so he goes back in time one more time and actually saves her right 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 so um steins gate zero is the timeline where he killed her but doesn't get the plan yet this is the timeline in which he is going to make the plan so it's dark oh i know where this is going to end up then he has bad times i mean you know where it's going to end up you know it's going to end up with him sending a message back to fix everything yeah with the satellite on the roof, right? There's a lot of bad stuff happening to poor Okabe. <laughs> Man, that poor guy. So it's it's a lot darker than the original. He does a lot for that girl. Well, no, this time he's doing a lot for somebody else. Well, I just mean in general. Yeah, that's true. She's no, that. no, he has a he has a tough time in Zero. Let me tell you. <laughs> and I'm not even halfway through, and he is having a hard time of it. Poor Okabe. Very poor Okabe. <laughs> so, speaking of bananas, uh, I've watched a couple more episodes of One Punch Man. Is it bananas? There's a scene plucked straight out of the manga that you watch okay. the, the anime episode and you're like, okay, I'm still not sure about this new studio. Still don't know if I like it or not. Really w- wacky scene where Saitama shows up to so all these heroes have gotten beaten up in the hospital. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, he's mm-hmm. brought a sack of bananas and he hears their sob story. He's like, that's that sounds like it sucks. Have a banana. That's his solution for everything. And you're like, now this is just weird. Turns out that was ripped straight out of the manga, basically word for word. Well, that's good. It's like, OK, yeah, one is just nuts is what's going one, on. One, here. one is nuts. So Saitama could give Okabe a banana. I don't know if that would uh, help him I'll, or I'll make things really worse, helps. but. Oh, there's a lot of PTSD in Zero. <laughs> there's a lot of, like, it's just not a bad scene. Have you seen the cover of Zero, like the game? I have not. Let me look it up. Steins Gate Zero game. Why does he look so sad? Oh, I, I can tell you all sorts of reasons as to why he is so sad. Yeah, he looks like uh, he doesn't want to be here. He does not want to be here today. Man. He's having a real bad time of it, let me tell you. Mm, let's see, what else have I uh, I've watched? Still watching Demon Slayer. Uh, how is that? Is that still real good? Still real good. Did slow down a little bit, but that's okay. Gotta go through the whole training section where he trains to mm. be a Demon Slayer. Mm. Mm. Isekai Quartet continues to be extremely silly and great. Okay. It did get uh, one of my friends to watch Tanya the Evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is great, and I still think you would like it, even though you don't yeah, like yeah, these yeah, guys. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. World War One with magic. Yeah. And little girls that are basically Satan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we see this. Um, did you see Endgame yet? Nope. Don't care. Okay. I won't tell you how the Hulk explodes. Um, <laughs> have you... Uh, there's going to be one other thing. Oh, the, uh, the uh, teaser trailer for um, FF7 Remake. You know what? I'm, I, I will play that game when it comes out. I don't think it's ever coming out. I don't like, think it honestly, is either. So I'm not going to torture I don't think myself. It's ever going to happen by watching some trailer full of lies. That's fair. That's fair. That's because <laughs> they gave they put one out two years ago, and I was like, oh, oh I, yeah, and they're I like, it's coming to... out this, it's coming out this year. And it's like, yeah. no, it's not. I it's got, never going to come out. Buy a PS4, but I'll buy it when the thing comes out. 
And yeah, uh, once it's out, I'll play it. But I'm not gonna like it's nifty to see, but it's like whatever. Bigger it's, question. It's just never gonna happen. Yes. Are you gonna watch Detective Pikachu? Absolutely. I have tickets for Sunday. Are you kidding me? I was just asking. You gotta make sure. I mean, I I did see the leak though. Did Wasn't you? that the best leak in the world? It is good leak. <laughs> I think like it's a good movie. It's a very good hour and a half of your time. I would watch it again. And I will on the big screen. Ooh, I guess there is one other thing we could talk about. Okay. You probably don't have any opinions on it, but I'll ask anyway. I have opinion. I can form an opinion instantly. Sonic. Oh, <laughs> good old <laughs> Sonic. You know, there's lots of things that are wrong about Sonic. Here's the deal. When they first released that image and everybody like lost their shit, I was like, you know what? It's like fine. Like, it's not as bad as people are saying. But then I saw it in motion, and it's terrible. Isn't it, though? And now they're saying they're redoing it. They I've are. heard some people that are like, look, they actually don't have time to redo this. So they've probably already redesigned it ages ago and after knowing it sucked, but released this version to drive hype. That's but what I, don't I know. heard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually liable to believe it. It's like that's an extremely cynical way of looking at the world, but it's yeah, probably Yeah, but also, right. yeah... Yeah. It's the fact that he has a muzzle, but a human mouth, and that doesn't make any sense. His mouth should work like Racket Raccoon's mouth. A lot of things about him should act like not that. Yeah, here we are. And I don't know if you know this, but there's this very, there's a specific shape that Dr. Eggman is. Let me see if I can put my finger on it. Is it... What um, shape Dr. Eggman might be? Oh, I'm, I'm having a really hard time picturing Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman. Is it Jim Carrey shaped? I, uh, no, not particularly. No, not, it's not, not, hmm. not standard Jim Carrey shape. I just don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say egg. Uh, Dr. Eggman is notedly egg shaped. You would be correct. Ooh, got it in one. Jim Carrey is decidedly un egg shaped in that trailer, and that's very upsetting to me. That is upsetting. I'm very sad. Yeah, it's just not, uh, doesn't make me happy. doesn't spark joy, as they say these days. You know what does spark joy, though? There you go. What does spark joy? Chica dancing. You know, that <laughs> sparks so much joy. Allow me, mister, oh, mister, chira saberu hodo se tsunai, putari da ke no abunai ke. I had forgotten that that was a thing. Randomly, it is a thing, and it sparked so much joy. Why did they do that? Why I don't did know. they have more money? <laughs> they had infinite money, and they were like, let's do this. And it's like, okay. We're going to do it, and we're going to do it just at the end of episode three. And that's it. Nowhere else. Just there. It's real. It's real good. Why couldn't they put that at the end of every episode? I want to see that animation every time. Every time. Nothing's stopping you. There's so many parodies of it on Reddit. I mean, that's true. Yeah, but those are parodies. They're not good. This week, we decided to watch uh, Kaguya-sama, Love is War. Well, to be fair, I didn't watch it, but I had watched it. <laughs> I also have watched it. Kind of breaking, breaking <laughs> the illusion here. This is, this is why we went on so long about Steins Gate. <laughs> Well, that and Kaguya-sama, while amazing, is a sketch comedy show under the Yeah, it's a young Komatsu style show, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Other than the fact that it's amazing. Oh, it is amazing. It's so good. It was the best show last season. Like, absolutely, hands down. Hands down, best show so far this year. It's, it was really good. Shockingly good. If, if I can, in the editing land, I'm going to paste in right here uh, your original reaction to hearing the pitch for this. Kaguya and Miyuki are the members of the incredibly prestigious Academy Student Council, asserting their positions as geniuses among geniuses. All the time they spend together has caused the two of them to develop feelings for one another, but their pride will not like allow that. them to be the one yes. to confess and become the submissive one in the relationship. Love is oh war, my. and their battle is to make the other confess. <gasps> okay, I like this a lot. That's a, that's a good, happy setup. I'm a big fan. I'll watch that. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's all it's all mind games. Oh, yeah. If it's mind games to try and get people to confess to each other, that seems really, really good. I mean, the tags here are comedy, psychological and romance. Yeah. I like all of those mishmash together. That could, that am, could be really good. I am very OK with this. 
I was probably like, this sounds dumb. And I was like, wait, is a Yandere and a, and it's like a Yandere and a, <laughs> and it's like a war game anime? Yes. They're two Yandere's and they try to get each other to confess to one another. To be fair, they're both Tsundere's, but yes. Well, that's, that's a debate. Let's have that debate. So. And one's in a Hime cut? One is in a Hime cut. I mean, come so on. So I know that we, they're not Yandere's. They're yandere's. They can't be Yandere's. They can't be Yandere's. Now, see, that, th this is what I'm coming to. It's, a, it's debatable, I would say, because is it? to everybody else around them, even to each other, each of them is a Yandere. 100%. I wouldn't say that. But internally, no, as the audience looking at them, we know they're Sundere. No, they're not Yandere at all. Really? Because they're, they're not manically obsessive with the other one to the point of actual violence. Well, now hang on. We don't know that for a fact. Because as of yet, no one has really gone after either of them. I mean, that's fair. Chica, every once in a while, has made but, eyes. Okay, but here's, here's the deal. Here's the deal. If they were Yandere, any sort of affection or noticement of the other one would have drawn ire and possibly violence. Therefore, they cannot be Yandere. Need I remind you how many bullets were swept by Chica when Kaguya noticed that Chica just happened to glance at, at Miyagi in a certain way? Yeah, there were a lot of a lot of sweat bullets. There. Nah, nah, that's different. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, they're not Yandere. Okay. Not Yandere. I mean, you are the connoisseur as the official. You know, Yandere detector. Yeah, like come on. All right, all right. So anyway, yeah, the plot is two ya not Yandere's try to get each other to confess at a they're, very prestigious they're, school. They are, they are a more violent Sundere, but they're not a Yandere. Fair. They are an aggressive tsundere. Are you saying there's a spectrum of tsun yeah, they're, and yan? Yeah, yeah, their tsun is pretty, pretty intense. They have a very intense tsun. <laughs> Equally matched by an intense uh, tere. So, okay, so it all evens out. Before we yeah. get into whatever kinds of spoilers there are. What spoilers are they? they yeah. I guess they add some new characters later. What are your overall impressions other than just really good? Um... Really funny. Pushes all my buttons. I've heard it described as a battle anime with no battling, and that is correct. Oh, that is very good. I like it. It's good, right? It's one of those. It's it is a it's like a death note where it's like technically it's a battle anime, really, when you break down the parts. I'm gonna confess that and this is I'm very hard to manga. do with me. Yeah. This is the first show in a very long time that I out loud laughed in every single episode. Yeah, just about, right? Like, I mean, it's it's funny. I will grant just, that towards the good. end, there was, I think, one episode where I didn't laugh out loud. I may have chuckled audibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was like the low point. Yeah. Well, there is an episode that is a low point specifically because it is like it's the sad before the climax. I mean, the last two episodes are kind of plot it's kind related. It's two parter, sort but of? I think there's a... Uh, it's really just there's one arc that's split between two episodes. It didn't yeah, have two to episodes. Be. No, it really didn't. Yeah, I guess the most of episode eleven is a little more of a down, sad, sad down. So yes, definitely go watch it if you haven't already. And if you haven't already, what, what's wrong with you? Seriously, yeah, we talked like, about it. In, seriously, this is a really good one. <laughs> we've talked about it for weeks. I know I have. I could have been bone of my sword. I could have just watched this instead of that bone of my sword show, bone of my horse. Bone of my horse. Bone of my horse was pretty good. Can't be too mad at Bone of my horse. So let's talk about the characters of Kaguya Sama Love is War. First, we have the titular character. The titular Kaguya. Kaguya. She's the vice president of the student council. At the prestigious uh, Shuchin Academy. Oh, Chin. Chin, Chin. <laughs> oh, poor Kaguya. <laughs> Biggest. Biggest. Dickest. Yeah, so she's a super rich girl who apparently in uh, middle school was like the ice queen of everything. Uh, in mid just in middle school? I mean, pretty much her whole life until recently. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember. Did Kaguya and Miyuki know each other from before? Like, I don't think so. I think they sort of met here, right? Because they gave an impression at one point where... Like, they had at least seen each other before their time in the student council. So I don't know if that's, they were just in a freshman class at Shuchin Academy or not. But at least Miyuki has knowledge that 
Kaguya was an ice queen and does not like her yeah. when the show starts. But she has a very... An intense personality? Well, she has a lot of different personality quirks that I like. She does. She's not one note. She's many notes, and she doesn't even know yes. how many notes she has. It's a lot. Is a live-action film? There is a live-action film. Is it any good? Probably not. They're all garbage. I don't it know. It comes you, out September. You could probably do a good but, job with this one. There's not a, like, you probably supernatural. It comes out the same day as It Chapter 2. Interesting. Oh, there is one thing that she does extremely well. And that and is... And that is... Say... Plan. Oh, kawaii. <laughs> Disho. Right? How does she say it? Ah, fuck. Um, she doesn't say it like that. I mean, she could. I don't know. Dang. How does she put it? It's really good. Oh, well, she never oh, actually oh, does. Oh, kawaii, he, koto. That's, yeah. that's adorable. She Which never actually she, says it. No, nope, She wait, never does. Back. She says it once. I think she actually meant it, but it seemed ominous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I think she says it to maybe Ishigami or something. I Maybe. don't know, but she doesn't say it as much as uh, Shirogane thinks that she she will. That's his everlasting dread <laughs> <laughs> that she's going to say that's adorable to him. Yeah. And to be honest, if she ever, if anybody ever said it to me like that with those eyes. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, who would, it's so withering. Well, I'm see myself out the nearest window. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> she is a withering person. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about Miyuki. You know, the, the one bad thing I don't like about this show is that it's a little unfair that Kaguya is usually a little more heads over heels in love than Miyuki is made out to be. And I wish it was a slightly more even, but that would be my only complaint. Well, their original reason for wanting each other to confess, I think, shows a lot of why that might be. Because Kaguya wants him to confess because she's actually like starting to feel things for him. Whereas he <laughs> wants to have more power in the relationship because he comes from like super poor family, rides his bike like 10 miles to school every day. He has yeah. nothing going for him other than his grades. So for him, it's more of a pride thing at the start. Yeah. That probably informs a lot of that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But also, I do like how the show, though, we are billed that they're both like the smartest people in the school, right? Yeah. Trying to outwit each other. And mm -hmm. Miyuki is actually set up to be like, he's he's the smartest guy. But when it comes to their plans, turns out Kaguya is like always 10 oh. steps ahead of him. Oh, in like 5D so chess, many more steps. And Miyuki yeah. is just sort of bumbling through it and getting lucky a lot. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> she really does. Uh, she takes it to the next level, man. Uh, he does have a sister. Uh, unfortunately, only shows up like twice in the yeah, series. She's unfortunately not that important. She's adorable, but, though. But uh, the agent of chaos is important. Uh, Chika is best character. First off, she's a Fujiwara. She is a Fujiwara. Is like, which is like, damn. It makes more sense when you find out what her family history is like. Uh, her grandpa was like a prime minister. Her mom's a yeah. diplomat. Oh, yeah, they're Fujiwaras, man. <laughs> they're all over the government, obviously. It's like, what? What in the world is Chika going to do when she grows up? And the answer is uh, meddle in foreign affairs. Meddle in everything. <laughs> she is the agent of chaos thrown into these two people's wonderful love war games. So question for you. She is the agent of chaos. Answer. But. Yes. Is it on purpose? Uh, I, I don't know. The answer is absolutely. Probably. She is the smartest person in this love war. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you're like, yes, she's absolutely messing with them on purpose. Other times you're like, I think she's just dumb. I don't, I don't know. It's I, hard to know. I don't know if she's it's playing she's, dumb or not. She's a hard one to read because sometimes you're, you're positive that she's doing it on purpose. And other times you're positive she's blundered into this again. Hmm. I don't know if blundering. There are certain times where. It comes out that, yes, absolutely, she knew exactly what she was doing. But other times, maybe she's just being herself and not caring what's going on around her. Yeah. Which is not quite yeah. the same as bumbling into it. It's just that I mean, she doesn't true. care. Yeah. But she's definitely best. She has a detective hat. and um, She does. She is a love detective. And she raised that boy. Well, not as good as the love advice that, that Miyuki and Kaguya give that one couple, because those are some of my best skits, my favorite skits. They're very good. Oh, yeah. 
where they're where they're both trying to give advice to, to to members of this couple, and they're both really bad at it, but somehow it all works. I do like those, especially when like Miyuki gives the one guy advice, and then it turns out that he got the girl, but then she hates everything he does. So Kaguya fixes it. So she gets advice on how to break up with him, and then she's like, "That didn't work. We just found out that we love each other even more." It's like all the bad advice they give them somehow it's is really working. good. Somehow all works around. It's very good. Ah, uh, yes, yes. The I, I raised that boy. Yes, that was a very good skit. I love that whole. <laughs> He's just whole so thing. bad. <laughs> We're referring to the time where Chika taught uh, Miyuki how to play volleyball. Which is a fantastic piece. We have talked about Chica, who is obviously yes. best girl. How about she is best girl? We now talk about best girl, Hayasaka. Hayasaka is real great. She is uh, Kaguya's maid. Sometimes question mark. I never quite figured that out. I literally had to read Wikipedia to figure out if she's actually the maid or not. I think yes. Okay, so according to Wikipedia, really, yes. she is Kaguya's childhood friend. Like, they actually grew up together, and Hayasaka's mom was Kaguya's wet nurse, Japan. Okay. Hayasaka is Kaguya's maid, but only when Miyuki shows up. Okay. Otherwise, she just sort of comes over and hangs out. So, okay. when Miyuki visits, she dresses as a maid named Smithy A. Herthika. Who attends an all-girls school and flirts with Miyuki. When Chika visits, she dresses as a male butler who does not have a name. What? Well, that's just fan service for, for, for Chika. So, yes, she, she both is and is not Kaguya's maid. It's questionable. She's a positive meddler. She just wants to get Kaguya and Miyuki together so bad and tries her best. Chika's a troll. Hayasaka is... The puppet master. Yeah, she is. She's, she tries. She's doing everything she can. She tries real hard. Yeah, well, like bless the time her heart. where she These taught. These two need it. Where she taught Kaguya how to Twitter, and then went for a bath. No. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have gone for a bath. It was no. I like Kaguya. I like Chika. I like Hayasaka, and I don't know which one I like the most. I don't know. They're both really good in different ways. They're all great. I want to be on student council. I know. That'd be fun. Hey, well, no, you don't want to be on student council because you would end up like Ishigami. Yeah, I'm not. Who is best boy. I'm not feeling great, so I'm going to go die. Always, <laughs> constantly, <laughs> constantly, he wants to die. And legitimately, too. Just the way he is introduced was like, I am pretty positive that Kaguya honestly wants to kill me. Like, for real. She wants to like, kill me. Really real. And for true. And you know what? He may not be wrong all the time. See, that's weird because, yes, she wants to kill him constantly. But then she spends, like, a whole episode teaching him things so he doesn't fail a class and get held back. Yeah. Yeah, but isn't there a twist in that? <laughs> no, it turns out she just did it because she was being altruistic. Because you're expecting oh, that was the twist. she's plotting something on this. But then it turns out, no, not really. And in fact, she lost some of her own study time and lost out to Miyuki in the uh, in the scores. So she ended up being second again. Has anybody has anybody scored how many times the different people win the little love games that they do? Probably, but I don't know. Uh, now, don't... now I kind of want to go look at it. But if you are Ishigami... Then I want to die, so I'm going home. All right, well, um, see you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel better. Oh, we forgot to mention something about Chica. My bad. Oh, yes? Uh, we forgot about how great she is at verse. At you cut out beats, there. At what? Throwing down rhymes. Oh, she is, turns out. <laughs> yeah. She's very good. She's also very good at saying penis. She is. I wonder Isn't why. Isn't it? <laughs> it's best not to worry. Why can Kaguya not deal with Chin Chin? Well, because she's hopelessly naive. She is. What did they, they, they say that like her version of the talk was like the most vague 
thing in the world. Some people do some things, and then the babies happen. That's it. Is that yeah? Like basically, the when a mother and a when, when a boy and a girl love each other very much, a baby. <laughs> there, there you go. Also, her version of rapping is just honestly. I I thought it work <laughs> itself out if I just added yo to the end of every sentence. <laughs> And you know what it does for her? It does for a bit. And then you're like, oh, wait, no, that's not mm -mm, that's not working. So let's talk about uh, the plot a little bit, I guess. There's not a lot of it. There is not. So really, the only plot is in like the last, I'd say, four episodes. So the two that come to mind are when Kaguya gets sick mm -hmm. and the fireworks. Yep. The Kage Gets Sick arc was, of the two, my favorite. It was very good. Lots of jokey jokes. And uh, Kaguya turns into a very sad and pathetic little creature that needs all of our love and support. Yes. And I will willingly give it. Yeah, all of her not yandere tendencies melt away and are replaced with a whiny... Mo it's moe. That's what it is. It's very mo. It's pure moe. It's extremely mo. Everybody wants to protect it. And so Miyuki goes to protect it. And Hayasaka's like, why don't you uh why don't you sit there and keep her company while I go anywhere else and lock this door? He's like, but yeah. I I don't think that's proper. Too late. So she locks him in. Then he gets drugged into bed. <laughs> I I <laughs> I don't quite know how I feel about their fight where it's like, one, you didn't do anything when I dragged you into bed with me. On the other hand, you didn't do anything when I dragged you into bed with me. <laughs> she has very conflicted feelings. She does. That's what that is. She's upset that he didn't think her worthy enough to assault, but is glad that he didn't. But she's still going to be mad about it. Women. Women, 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 women. Can't live Wait with them. Anyway, so the uh, so they actually have like this ongoing silent fight that goes on for like the next episode and a half mm. where they try to forgive each other and it doesn't work and stuff. But then there's uh, the fireworks. Fireworks is very cute. It is very cute. It is adorable. And it's it's very well put together. But this is probably the for me the not greatest part of the show. Oh, why do you say that? Um, only because I'm not sure that we're going to get a second season, right? Because yeah. they don't they don't have enough material. They they covered like five of the Takabon, and there's only nine so far. So it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not great looking for getting a second season right now. So in that situation, I'm not a super big fan of they're basically there confessing to each other. And then resetting it. I yeah, know that, why they do legitimate. it. I understand it. I'm, yeah, they want to give you an emotional arc. But no, that, that's fair. I'm okay with it. But I was like, if you're going to end on this, and it's probably the end of the anime series, then just give us something. It's like the end of Nozaki-kun. It's like, come on, guys. Yeah. You're not going to give us another season. Give us some catharsis here. It was still good. I still liked it. It was fine. Were there any sketches that you really, really liked? Oh, any of the ones with those two kids, right? Like, those were both really good. Um, the Chin Chin bit is pretty solid. I may have been laughing the entire time with the Chin Chin one. Because you think, at any moment, she's going to she's gonna get over it. No, she, she doesn't. She, she doesn't. never does. <laughs> she never, never does. Um, oh, what else? Oh, man, they're just, they're just all so good. Oh, yeah, the psych tests from the magazine. That's a pretty good sketch. Oh, that was delightful. Especially where it's another one of the ones where, like, Kaguya goes above and beyond a plan for it. Oh, oh, yes, the, the two umbrellas. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, they're just all so good. I, I forgot one very important one. Oh, the one where Kaguya just, like, destroys that French student. Oh, that was delightful. And Miyuki's all like, what? 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 And he what what's happening? He didn't understand. He knew like, omelette du fromage. And that was it. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you can get away with a lot with omelette du fromage. That's what I've heard. But no, I I had forgotten. And this is to my eternal shame. The most important lesson that Kaguya-sama taught everyone, especially my wife, that cat ears improve everything. I 
it does improve everything. Because she saw, she was watching Yanya. that with me, and they put the cat ears on her, and we saw Miyuki's internal monologue of, "Holy crap, that's adorable! I can't do anything about it." And she turned to me <laughs> yeah. and she's like, "Is that really what you guys think?" And I'm like, yes, "Oh, absolutely! That is a uh, documentary, is what that is." And she's like, "I mean, oh. it's, like that's yes, your life. I've been trying to tell you this for years. Thank you, anime. You've cleared something up for us." <laughs> Well, yes and no. You've both caused the problem and explained it. But thank you. But also, we learned uh, Miyuki also looks good with cat ears. Everyone looks good with cat ears in this episode. I mean, come on. Did they put cat ears on, Chica? They must have, right? Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah, they did. Because uh, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so maybe not everybody looks great in cat ears. I mean, she does, except when she's um, in character, let's say. It's frightening. Almost as frightening as Ko- Okawai Koto. Oh, I did like uh, Ch- Chika trying to outwit everybody with a Martin deck of cards. That was nice. Oh, yes, yes, that was good, too. They're like, oh, she's so stupid with her deck of cards, but she was actually outsmarting everyone in the room because she wanted to go somewhere. Yeah. Very good job, Chika. Outwitting everybody again. She's pretty. She's pretty good. She's a sharp cookie. She's a sharp cookie. Is that a mixed meta- metaphor? I yeah. No, if it has razor blades in it, it's a sharp cookie. Ah, so there you go. Oh, I've seen that anime. Have you? Is it Mirai Nikki? Uh, I was actually going with uh, with um, something very different. Uh, who's he? What? Fudge. Ah, uh, uh, why no one her horns? Why no one her horn? Oh. Higurashi. Yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> you know what's why sad? No I just got really sad horns. just now because you say, why no one her horn? And I knew what you're yeah. talking about, Higurashi, but I'm pretty sure that most of the people listening to this are going to oh, think. Oh, they won't know why they're no gonna one They're going to think horn. Zero Two is what they're going to think. What's, what's Zero Two? From Darling in the Franks. I don't know that. She has horns. Yeah, but that's that's not why no one her horns. Yeah, but. Yeah, but that's not why anyone cares. That's it. Those aren't horns. There's little horns. I, I can understand why no one her horns. <laughs> Fair. All right. So everyone should go watch Kaguya Sama if you haven't already. Absolutely. Bigger question. What are we going to watch next time? Oh, I was going to suggest we watch uh, uh, Steins Gate, but it's real long. Oh, we can watch. Uh, we can watch the new uh, mob. Have you seen it already? No, I've not. Hmm. Then maybe it'd be worth seeing if you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, see, it's relevant. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we'll be relevant for once. I mean, we're almost relevant with this one. Almost. Almost. Next time we will watch uh, Mob Psycho 102. 200? Uh, 102. 102. Does that mean he's gone above and beyond 100%? Always. We'll see you then. All right, see you next time. Bye.